Here in India, when the weather gets warm, we have a major problem, and it is gross. Any animal with a wound is at high risk of developing maggot infections. Maggots are the larvae of the screwworm fly, and they are extremely dangerous. They eat the living tissue of the animal, so a small wound can quickly become an enormous one. Today, we're going to show you how to get rid of these nasty guys. First, give a painkiller. Melanex can be given subcutaneously or in the muscle. Also, if the animal is starved looking or extremely sleepy, they'll likely need intravenous fluids and will need to be seen by a vet or paravet. If you do this often, you can learn these injections from your local veterinarian. After injections, we immediately flush the wound with normal saline to get as much dead tissue and dirt off the wound as possible. Next, we have to kill those maggots. Yeah. Use magocyte, an Ayurvedic medicine, or ivermectin injection in a syringe without the needle. Insert the syringe into the wound and try to get it all the way into the pockets the maggots have created. Immediately the maggots will begin to die. You can start to pull them out with cotton for the ones on the surface and use forceps to pull them out of the pockets and crevices in the wound. The more maggots you can get out of the wound, the less risk of life-threatening infections for the animal. Once you get as many maggots out as possible, flush the wound with normal saline. Pull out any more maggots you find and repeat until you can't get any more out. Then flush the wound with diluted betadine solution, which is half betadine solution, half normal saline. Next, put another syringe full of magocyte or ivermectin into the wound. Top off the wound with negocent powder. Try to coat as much of the wound as you can in this. Bandage the wound so the animal doesn't lick off the medicine and flies can't sit on it. It's a good idea to also use Hymax, Lorexane, or fly spray on the bandage to repel flies. Give the animal a species-appropriate antibiotic for at least seven days. Make sure to consult your veterinarian for a dosage. In 12 hours, open the bandage again and clean normally by flushing the wound with normal saline. Pull out any of the maggots or dead tissue, flush again with saline, and then on the last flushing, use diluted betadine solution. Top it off with fly ointment and a bandage. The wound should be cleaned twice per day until there's no more dead tissue and the wound looks pink or red with no pus and not green, gray, or yellow in color. Once the wound starts to look better, you can switch to daily cleaning instead of twice per day. Continue cleaning and bandaging until the wound is healed. If you've treated maggot wounds, send us your after pictures in the comments. What do you want to learn next? The less risk to the animal, the less threatening. <laughs> You're not making this any easier. Cut it out. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Ow! Excuse me. Hey, hey! Cut that out. Ow! Ow! Yeah, get him. <laughs> this is not fun, Sanju. Cut. Sanju. Do you like YouTube more than you like Instagram or Facebook? Then check out our channel at youtube.com slash people farm.